We're getting on the plane in John Jajie. You see it's overcast today, but it's like this most mornings and then it typically burns off. Nine to seven. Okay, I don't even didn't even know who I was on. It's only uh, two flights a day to Guangzhou. One in the morning, one at night. Signing off. It's about seven in the morning. Not a busy airport per se, but they're doing so much growing here. And I noticed a lot of Western hotels going in, so this is gonna end up hitting the tourist trail at some point. And this is the view from my room. That is the Canton Tower, which lights up. McDonald's is next door. That is what I call the Skunk River. That's downtown Guangzhou. So I leave that closed, and uh, otherwise it becomes a thousand degrees. So this room is 198, which is roughly 30 bucks. 30 bucks. The, ho the Super 8 hotel next door there, or the Super 11, they're about 100 yuan more, which is 15 bucks more. I also just did my laundry, so I leave it hanging for the day. That way I don't smell like, well, anyway, so take my key and go. All right, take care of everything, and into, whoa, into the oppressive heat. Okay. Yeah, families live here, I guess. Anyhow. Yeah, the bad thing about this hotel is there's no elevator, so. Well, good or bad. So. Just takes longer to get up to your room or to get down. But I don't mind the stairs. Burns off a breakfast. Yeah, this morning, uh, I already mentioned that I met that English guy at McDonald's. I had a pork sausage and some scrambled eggs, and then I went to the store and bought some uh, um, almonds and uh, cashews and some water. The one that I booked using booking.com, because it was the cheapest price I found of 188 RMB, well, I followed their directions on their map. And there's no hotel. Well, there's a Super 8 motel, but there's no hotel by that name. The people at Super 8 called the hotel and said that they were actually eight kilometers from where I was. So I found, yeah, so I found, um, I saw this hotel, I went in, I saw like on the sign out front, it was all Chinese, and then I saw 198. And they usually advertise the price, so I went in and I said, hey, you have a room for 198? There's only 10, 10 more, and I said, can I get it? So I booked it for two nights. It's a whole long story, and I'm not gonna get into it here. Yeah. Um, what way life? Xie oh. Xie. So, yeah. The, uh, I remember there's a hospital here. Yep, you see there's a hospital and a McDonald's. But I remember, wow, it is hot. It's gonna be 90 something degrees. And the humidity, it's supposed to rain today. It is, so hot right now and the humidity just walking you want to melt so I'll be indoors all day but I'm gonna remember there's a McDonald's here I'm gonna try their Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi at the hotel I'm at is too slow so it's like uh, no trip goes exactly as planned at least the plane this morning didn't crash had a 7 a.m. flight from Zhangjiajie to Guangzhou. That went smoothly. Subway actually only took about an hour. When I got off one car, I hit another one. It went very nicely. Oh, I remember this. There's a school here. There's always a bunch of kids here. The police like to scan the bags here. I'll go right around them. If they tell me to stop, I stop. My policy 
yeah, uh, the ticket is out there, so you, you I bought it last night. Yeah, just uh, well it uh, that day. Sorry. So I went to customer service, and I bought the I bought that uh, thing last night, and this girl tells me that it's already out of date. See, I buy I bought it in advance to avoid waiting in line. But China likes lines, so we'll stand in line. Next train in four minutes. Okie doke. Metro, the subway in China is much better than the United States as well, in most cases. It's newer. They maintain it with their people. I am at a lighting show in Guangzhou. And you can see what they do with LEDs. Got a homemade sign. A homemade sign. Pardon? You can put that in your window at home. Yes, yes, right. Curtain, curtain screen. A curtain screen. Yes. It's good also for the glass roof. Yeah, it's very nice. Yes. And and how do you uh, how many how many controllers or drivers do you need to control that? Uh, it depends on the screen size. Okay, no, that that one right there, that uh, one right there. Uh, this one we use uh, one um, master controller and two sub controller. Oh, can you show it to me? Oh, it's uh, um, it's up in the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, you should put that out here so people can see it. It's not good looking with so many wires. <laughs> but that's what people want to see. They want to understand. See. Because people don't believe things unless they can see them. Uh, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Yes, please. Are you selling this individual item that then people can build their own units? Uh, yes, it's okay. We, we make a, a one, screen, uh, one, uh, one screen size is like this. So that, Okay, so it would come like a panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is what is a standard panel size? Uh, like there, you see? Inside, inside, inside. Okay, I'll go with you. You show me. Yeah, please go. <laughs> Welcome me to asking the price and the products. Yeah, we are thinking about our uh, competitors. But when I tell them that you're my boss, when I tell them that you're my boss, <laughs> so Ilya, we got free samples. Yes. What are you Why didn't she give them to you? That's right. That's the one advantage of being a foreigner in China is I get free things. We fly travel both there and foreign. That's it. Ilya Waigoren. You mean ten three, right? Uh, we can go to ten three or ten two. The company is ten three. Yes. Yes. Hey, you know what? I will tell them that I brought my boss to see them. Okay? So I will get down and I will start bowing to you. <laughs> and they'll, I'll be like, my number one job requirement, give Ilya anything she wants. <laughs> Big boss. Big boss. <laughs> and I remember last time I was telling them how you beat me. Actually, you know, the last time I was at this show, I got some samples and they're still working in my house. I use them uh, every day. It's human nature, Ilya. You don't have to be Chinese to understand that. So you don't think I'm a poor right? You're a mean woman. <laughs> You're so mean. How could you do that? We're gonna go back and talk to her. We're gonna, we're gonna teach her. You're right. Good attitude. Give me five. Now, people, no truer words have ever been spoken. There are stupid people everywhere, and you can't save them all. You can't not stand with the wall. No, but you can save your own group of people, maybe. You're an American? No, I have 
you see the movie? No. American Capital. American Capital? Yeah. No, never heard of it. Is it a Chinese movie? No, American <laughs> USA movie. What's it about? Um, a team saves the world. A team saves the yes, world? Yes, Spider-Man. Oh, 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 this is the one with Robert Downey Jr.? It's Iron Man versus Captain America? Yes, yes. No, I haven't and seen it. He, he always carry He flies around? Yeah, on Did you like it? <laughs> yeah, I'll watch it. I can watch all these movies online for free. I like watching movies. I always go to the cinema. Yeah, it's a lot a of fun. Week. Once a week? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How much does a movie cost in Shenzhen now? Uh, for 3D is 40. 40? Yeah. Well, that's not and bad. For 4D is 16. 16? Yeah, 60 euros. For, for what? What what's the difference? 3D. Oh, 3D. Yeah. Oh, that makes me sick. Is everything in 3D in China? Uh, this depends. Um, 2D and 3D. Do they give you the glasses? Yeah, glasses. Azelia drinks her cappuccino. So good. Because of because of the money. Well, it caught they the the booths in China. They put a lot of people in there, and so cost too much money to put expensive people yeah. in there. Yeah, if, if, if like for example, if if your company put you to send you to with the the overseas show, okay, you must be very professional, right? Intelligent, Well. Why put somebody... Uh, I never have anybody in a booth. The only time in America that you see somebody is they'll put a very pretty girl to draw men in. <laughs> and then when the men come in, they jump on them and they say, Sir, let me introduce you to this or that. All right, so I'm just leaving day one of the show. I think they call it the China Import-Export Fair now. So the train station's right up here, or the metro, I should say, the subway. And um, so it's very easy to get here. You're basically dumped off. So when it's raining, you don't have to get really wet. In fact, you probably can figure out a way to go underneath the covered areas, not get wet at all. <laughs> You see how crowded these cars are. You see people walking around in pajamas? It's because there's a hospital right there. They let the patients out and let them walk around. Huh? What's the name? Dwayne So you, you make a movie? A yeah, Dwayne. For what? Uh, to remember. To remember? Yeah. So My, I have a very bad memory. Okay, So oh. I talk. I talk about the day. I talk about things that happened. Mm -hmm. And then when I watch it... Talk to who? Myself. Okay. Myself. So how long uh, do you stay in Guangzhou? Uh, well, Guangzhou only a couple days. A couple of days. A couple of days. But I, I've been here many times. Okay. So. So what's your uh, what's your aim? To oh, I'm coming back from the tr the trade show. Trade show. Yeah, Pajo. So this restaurant is next to the McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And they don't have the lights on on the Gua Canton Tower. Interesting. Hello there, everybody. 
a very traditional Chinese type restaurant. See the bigger parties they have the uh, lazy Susan in the middle you can spin and get the food. Now this meal is going to be a little bit expensive because going to dinner alone really that's why they have fast food joints because um, you know, if you go to McDonald's, it costs you 20 yuan or 30 yuan or whatever it is. But it's a it's a one person portion. But when you come out to a place like this, it's going to be enough food for three people. But I think going on, buddy. Uh, I figure, um, yeah. You know, how often am I in a section of China? Once every year, once every two years. I forgot to mention the supermarket next to the hotel, 600 milliliter beer, 4.8 kwai. So it's 6.5 for a buck. So, what is that, 70 cents for that beer? It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And uh, I think Tsingdao is a uh, pretty good beer. So, you can see it's an uh, amber ale. Now, Tsingdao is in Qingdao, which is up in the, uh, right around middle China, between Shanghai and Beijing. It's right on the coast. And it actually, the, the city was built by the Germans back at the turn of the uh, 1800s, 1900s. It was occupied by the Germans for a long time. So I haven't been there yet. But here you go there and it's uh, European looking. Uh, Germans controlled that place for a long time. I think all, all the way up to World War II. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. So the beer supposedly was started by the Germans. All right. So the Chinese don't bring out the meal together. They bring it out when it's ready. So this is a, a cauliflower with uh, some sort of beef. So some a little bit of a brown sauce. It's, uh, it's tasty. I wanted a vegetable. I wanted something green. Oh, and there's the pork. And that looks different. Fish and e. Fish here. That looks very different from the picture. Very different. I think because I said bula, which is not spicy, so that sauce they put on it must be spicy. It reminds me of the uh, pork that you get in Chinese restaurants at home that comes out red. They put their sauce on it. This has no sauce. It's uh, tasty. You can see there's quite a bit of fat on the sides of the meat. So that will give it the taste. So if you ever had the spare ribs at a Chinese restaurant when you get the fat on there? That's how the fat tastes. It's like that sweet pork fat taste. It doesn't quite melt in your mouth like the, the stuff I had in Hangzhou, but it's a, it's a, it's a very nice flavor. And the cauliflower sauce definitely a brown tastes like a brown sauce. It's a beef sauce. I wouldn't call it sweet. I'd say it's more savory. And it's not a lot of sauce. Almost like our chew. Our, um, you know, the juice and the meat. Eat how. And this is the beef. Strips of beef that come with the cauliflower. See, it has onion in it. That's very nice. Okay, the lights are on now. You can see the Canton Tower all lit up. And these horrible LED street lights. Guangzhou is quite large. So where I am is on, there are several rivers that split this part of Guangzhou into almost like an island. 
I call it Pajo. I know that's not what it's called. It's called High Hyun or something like that. But that is pretty how they do all those colors. Yeah.